Joining me is National Senator Susan MacDonald, the opposition's resources spokesman. And yes, I do ask the Labor Minister, but you know how it goes with them. Susan MacDonald, thank you so much for your time. How bad is this gas shortage? I mean, what are we looking at, do you think, in the near future? Uh, Andrew, this is devastating because within seven months of the last election, uh, Labor told Australians they'd be safe hands, that they would be predictable, uh, that they had an agenda that was clear, and yet this is a sneaky government. This is a sneaky Albanese government that has introduced legislation that... Uh, is the kind of reverse of a Robin Hood, you know, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor. What they're actually doing is stealing from the futures of Australians, Australian workers uh, and Australian prosperity. So they were warned. We were incredibly clear that introducing price caps, a, pro a, a policy that was trialled in Argentina with very predictable results, smashed their industry, uh, that this policy would result in gas shortages. It would result in uh, the power going out, in prices going up and Australians losing their jobs. Labor's supposed to be a government for workers and yet that's not what they're doing. They're not protecting Australians know, yeah. or Australian workers or Australian prosperity at all. It's making... You're so right. It's making gas a luxury product for the poor and electricity uh, more broadly as well. But Susan McDonald, you're absolutely right, to, I think, to go for Labor. Uh, that price cap has uh, created a kind of strike by gas producers. But I have to say, I've got to be frank with you, I wonder if we can trust the Liberals mm -hmm. to fix this. Now, I know you're a national, but the ban, for instance, on gas exploration in Victoria was actually started by a Liberal state government, although, you know, Labor continued for years. And, and these delays to the Narrabri project in New South Wales, that's happening under a Liberal state government. And we've only just said goodbye to the Morrison one. So really, don't the Liberals need to get off the fence and start fighting some of these culture wars that are leading to these devastating results? Oh, well, I think you've seen really clear examples of the coalition being incredibly uh, specific about the need to bring on more supply for gas. So in the last seven months, when Labor has layered up, they've brought in industrial relations for major projects. They've brought in uh, an EPA, the EPBC, the call-in of 18 projects. You've already touched on the, uh, the Santos Barossa project. Uh, the introduction of greater hurdles for projects to get going means that there are uh, investors... Uh, you know, I, I disagree with your characterisation of a, a gas producer strike. I think it is gas investors, both domestic and overseas, are just... They're, they're terrified. They don't have the confidence to invest in the Australian resources market. And it won't just be gas. Oh, look, I didn't mean it maliciously so much. It's no, now critical minerals. You're right to clarify. Yes. You are absolutely right to mm. clarify there that, uh, in part, they're, they're frightened. I mean, they've got so much money on the line here, mm. potentially millions of fines if they mm. misinterpret. I got that. But one way or the other, they're going on strike in terms of uh, more, more gas uh, exploration, exploitation. And this is going to be a huge issue. Uh, Susan McDonald, thank you so much indeed oh. for your time. Really appreciate it.